there's just one of the things I guess that has concerned me in the last few years. There's been a real debate uh, about that, that essentially discredits science by saying that scientists are self-interested. The reason that people are researching climate change is that there's something in it for them, and the the practical impact of that really worries me because it allows people to ignore the vast body of scientific evidence in an area like climate change and cling to, well, you know, it's I don't feel hotter today than I did yesterday, so it's obviously made up. And the, the example in Queensland that really worried me recently was um, the Queensland government giving permission to local councils to stop putting fluoride in water. Now, the biggest health uh, intervention in dental care in Australia for decades is putting fluoride in water. Any dentist you talk to will tell you they can tell who grew up in Queensland where they've had less fluoride in the water, they've got a mouthful of fillings compared with people who've grown, grown up with fluoride. And, and it, it drives me nuts that we've got Queen, people in the Queensland Parliament saying one guy who's a bodybuilder in the Queensland Parliament said he would rather take banned substances for a year than drink a glass of water with fluoride in it. <coughs> it's nuts. Especially well muscled. He, he is actually rather well muscled. <laughs> he's got his teeth, however. He's also. <laughs> I mean, he's well muscled in his head, I think. Sydney Town. Just say, um, with your comment, the irony is that people who spend all this money buying bottled water because they're scared yeah. of tap water, they're the ones who've got their dental problems because that doesn't yeah. have the fluoride. Yeah. Um, you know, this idea that tap water has problems so is actually the best. It's yeah. the best thing best to drink. drink. Yeah. Best drink to give your kids. Yeah. <laughs> and it's pretty much free. The uh, next question comes.